Hi, today we are going to learn how to create onboarding experience for your users from the front end by their role. CM onboarding plugin helps you create a site walkthrough, website guided tour or a guidance widget to improve the user onboarding experience and support user training. This interactive WordPress tutorial is a great way to easily induct new website users. In this example use case video, we will consider how to create onboarding experience for your users from the front end by their role. First of all, you can configure the plugin according to your needs. Navigate to CM Onboarding – Settings. On the first tab, you can configure behavior, type and appearance of the widget. There are two base differences between widget types – standard and floating. Standard is sticked to the screen border and floating can be placed in other places of the screen. On the second tab, you can configure the type, color, size and position of the icon. You can choose icons for standard and floating types of widgets or you can provide a URL to the custom icon that overrides the defaults. And on the last tab, you can edit or translate the labels that appear in the widget. When everything is configured, click the button Update. The widgets created by the CM Onboarding plugin are made useful by filling them with help items. To add new help items to a widget, navigate to CM Onboarding – Add new item. There you can see a form for setting up the help item. Let's go filling it step by step. Add title. Give the name to this item. It can be displayed on the front end only in case if you turn down the option Show help items title in the widget in plugin settings. Next, form for filling the content of help item. Toggle all. This button can collapse or expand all created help items. Title. This title is what will be displayed in the menu item in the sidebar. URL. This is an optional web address. If the address is entered here, then clicking on the title will direct to the address rather than displaying content. Content. The content is the body of the help item. It can be information, pictures, videos, HTML content or even short codes to various features such as contact forms. Template. It's possible to save templates and reuse them later to save time. Upon updating a template, any widgets that is being used at the time are automatically updated too. To create a template, navigate to CM Onboarding – Add new template. There you will find a form with only two fields a field for the title and a field for the content. Just fill it and click the button Publish and this template will appear in the drop-down while creating or editing help item. Add help item. Clicking on this will create a new empty help item form below the one being edited. There can be added any number of help items. Let's put a YouTube video in the second help item. Then we again click the button Add Help Item and let's make the third help item with a form using a short code. This short code is from another plugin, it is here just as an example. Next step, we need to configure our help item. The options form has three tabs – Visual, Activity and Button Text. Let's consider them step by step. First tab Visual is about appearance of the widget. Widget Type Set the type or style of the widget. Show help items titles. If checked, then titles for every help item you created will be displayed in the widget. Header – add the header to the help item. And footer – add the footer to the help item. Both of these features are optional. Next tab is activity. It defines where and for whom the help item widget will be displayed. Show on every page. Checking the box displays the help item widget on every page on the site. Show on posts of selected type. Allows assigning the help item for selected post types only. Additionally, if the option admin panel only enabled, then help item will be displayed on the selected post types only while adding or editing. Show on URLs matching pattern. Goes through all the URLs on the site and displays the help item on any pages with URLs matching partially what is entered in this field. You can exclude child pages by adding a dollar symbol to the end of the URL. The format of the URL must be HTTPS or HTTP. Show help items only for logged users. Toggles whether or not users must be logged in into the site to see help items. You can also choose which user roles are allowed to see help items. 
To choose more than one user role, hold the button Ctrl or Command while choosing them. Display on these admin URLs. Display is the help items only for the backend URL centered here. Show on selected posts or pages. Configure the help item to appear only on the selected posts or pages. To add the help item to multiple specified posts or pages, click the plus add page. Automatically open widget. Allows to define if the widget must be opened automatically or not when the page is loaded. Next tab is button text. Available options. Custom widget open button text. The widget icon can be replaced by the custom text button that will be positioned horizontally, and it will override the standard icon's settings. It works only with standard widget types and doesn't work if you want to use it as floating widget type. Custom widget open button text width and height correction. Adjust the width and height of the custom open button text if custom open button text is entered. When everything is filled, click the button publish on the right top. Now let's see the result. Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to create onboarding experience for your users from the front end by their role. Thanks for watching the video.